Loki, this stops it. This stops it. No, 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 it doesn't. Whoa. It doesn't. Oh, this is gonna be. No. He's gonna. Oh my God. This is gonna be a great. Look at this. Oh, Not no. even hesitating. Oh. We've been waiting to oh. see that level of value from Carol Ligby. Oh what? my God. Gwent is a game that has a lot of potential to be very popular in the future because it's free to play, it's a digital card game, it's easily accessible on PC and consoles. Now that we have a tournament format that we can see uh, with this event, uh, it's a bit more clear what the competitive world of Gwent looks like, and I think it's going to look really good. So like every card game, there's an element of luck that comes in when it comes to drawing the right cards at the right time against certain matchups, but in order to actually use that luck, you need to know your deck, and it takes a lot more effort, I think, to reach the levels of depth and complexity and master them in Gwent than it does in other popular card games that are in the market right now. There is definitely a small luck component, but skill always outs uh, usually outskills the luck component part, so if I would need to measure that the numbers, maybe I would say it's like 80% skill, 20% luck. And the game is deep, uh, yet easy to pick up, especially just play through the tutorial. It's got a good learning curve to it, and it's got a very high skill to it. One spider, two spider, three spider, 109, that is the final strength that life goes at Jenner this year. Let's and one try happens. Just play it and let it play out. Yeah, yeah. Go, 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 Go